Hello, this is Horse Soul Love, and I'm new to YouTube, and this is my first ever Briar Barn tour. And it just happens to be Christmas. I will probably do an updated one when it's not Christmas. But for the moment, you can see how it is. Fox Creek Stables. And we've got a little statue and then a little Santa globe. And I'll show you what it does if I don't knock down the walls of our little room. He's all snowy. So yeah. It's um, a corkscrew thing, and I knocked down our very elegantly plain sign. And then there's a giant bag, which is not meant to be really film. <laughs> okay, so let's continue. Um, here is like a little, it's kind of like an office actually. It's not actually an office, it's just um, like where you put the feed and the treats are there and a broke this is a broken saddle rack that I built and then there are some helmets um that one belongs to Bella and that one belongs to Gemma and um there's a nice big shiny star that's on top of a shelf which has a trophy that um Gemma one and then there's some photos underneath there and if you can just see there's a briar hidden behind that belongs to Tracy's daughter and then there's a little kind of tack box thing and there's some stuff and then behind here there is a Christmas tree that Tracy put up and then here's the real Christmas tree that has been very friendly decorated and this is where they put presents so, for example, um, Gemma could come along and see that Bella needs a new helmet and put one underneath there on Christmas Day so they don't get all wet in the night and all that. Yeah, this is um, Gemma and this is Bella and Tracy in the flesh or the plastic. Um, is not here at the moment because when I stopped playing with my brayers I sold Brenda the Rider which was Tracy and <laughs> yeah so anyway we got to this stage and this is the Christmas tree which is decorated with some nice little decorations um, yeah you can find the snowflakes and it all goes like that and then this is what there's a frosty that mucks snow and then this is what they specialise in jumping cross country dressage pleasure racing training and they also have <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, they also have hunting. Um, and I'll show you the hunter in a minute. And then here, if you can actually see in the light, there's a notice board. And there's some nice photos. There's a picture that has a thing saying, We miss you, Cassie. And that belongs to this photo. They just cover up the green light. Because the green light seems to make everything look a bit weird. Um, and that's her uh, because she died. I sold the bottle on eBay. And there's Bella with Mulberry on a camping trip. There's Gemma winning on Mr. Time, who will have a replacement soon. And then um, anyone willing to come with me to Curly Mountain, call something, something, something from Tracy. And that's just a picture of them putting the box ready and all that. And here are the Christmas lights that I put up very at my own expense. <laughs> And um, here we've got a little Christmas pudding, which actually has a ferrocho in it that I'm saving. It's very pretty. It's a little decoration that someone knitted. And then here is a little hanger for some lead ropes. And then this, there's a little thing for a name tag, but this one's not the official horse that belongs in here at the moment. Um, let me just zoom out a bit. I'm a bit zoomed in. Okay, um, this is... Cinnamon is her stable name, and her show name is Patience Hourglass. Um, that's not like patience, as in I've lost my patience with you. It's patient, like belonging to patient. Patience Hourglass, and she's very pretty. It's the Bet Your Blue Boons. I'll get her out and show you. 
Um, I'll do an introducing the horses video soon. Um, I I quite um. Could you comment what you think about her name? It's um. I'm not like a hundred percent sure that I'm absolutely happy with the patient's hourglass. I think it's quite a nice name, but I'm not sure about it for her. So please comment what you think. And if I change it, then I'll let you know. But at the moment, that's her name and cinnamon. Good, you can tell why she's called cinnamon. I hope. And so that's her. And the great thing about this barn is this. Ooh, Christmas tree collapse. I've done. That's the second time I've done this today. Um, is there's doors? Oh, I dropped the lights, and the office door fell down. This is not my day. Um, so for filming, I can always flip it round to show a different horse's stable. And here's some tinsel. And then in here, we've got Mr. Cosmic. Yes, Mr. Cosmic. Um, he's actually called Cosmic or Cosmic Rainfall. But, you know, when you call, for example, your dog's called Coco and you call it Koki. It's a long thing, but they call him Mr. Cosmic as well, don't they? Mm. And this is his store, and his name will soon be up here in a lovely printed thing. Hopefully. It's on my Christmas list. And in here he's got um, some hay and some feed. And then he's got little feed troughs, and so she got a little feed trough there. But he's like um, Tracy's showboy. Yeah, she is. But Gemma's riding him at the moment, because Tracy is non-existent. <laughs> and here we've got another snowman that was made at the Christmas fair. That's nice in there in the corner. And then we've got some cinnamon, giant cinnamon, with some pine cones covered in frost and snow, which the horses can have a look at. I don't think horses can actually, actually do that in real life, so I wouldn't try it at home. <laughs> and um, here we have the office. Let me just take the door out of the way. It's got a lovely little Christmas decoration. Um, this is the only time there's ever been light in here. So there are the puppies, and they've got some books by the look of it thrown on the floor there's a briar and a phone and a christmas tree and that's the desk and then there's a sofa tracy normally puts a christmas tree up but it's not there at the moment and okay so that's the office and then ooh, get camera focus yeah and then the lights go all across the stable yard um, Gemma puts them up every year with Bella, and, oh, I'm showing you my little book. Not meant to do that. <laughs> Here we have the all lovely and beautiful Face the Flames, or Empress. She's, um, very pretty, and she's a lovely mother and horse to ride. And then we've got a yearling that's almost... A two-year-old, but still yearling. Um, this is indulgence or shine. And then here, um, we've got India or Indian summer. And again, comment on her name. I'm not quite sure about it. I like it, but maybe not for her. So just comment. And yeah, so that's Indian summer. And then moving on into the Mare and Fall box. No fall, unfortunately, with this one. But this is, um, I know, I know, if you know Taylor Swift, I know it's like named after the same name as her song. But this is State of Grace, or Grace. Um, I kind of named it after the song because I really like Taylor Swift. And plus, I just thought she looks like a Grace. So I called her that because I thought it was quite nice. Um, after about five hours pondering over her name, quite a long time ago, when I first got her. Yeah, and she's in the strapless mold. She's very pretty. I would recommend her. She was my first ever briar. Okay, and here we've got another little sparkly Christmas tree. Which you move, sparkles. And the wash door wall has just fallen down. Bear with me for a second. And yeah, here's the wash door, which needs some mats at the bottom. And then we've got a little um, cross tie thingy that you can put over here. And you can use it as a spare stable, but at the moment no one's in it because quite cold out so no one really wants to use it okay and here we've got a little handy gate which has a little decoration on it again and then here we've got vengeance and it is stable names come
kind of varies from Spice to Speedster to Mr. Splodge. He doesn't really have a stable name. Everyone calls him something unique. Uh, unique is a special word. And here we've got some jumps for small riding ponies because this is the riding field in the summer, but it's being used. And he's got a heat in his leg. He's okay, it doesn't like hurt him, but we just want to make sure that the cold or something doesn't damage it because it's been quite fragile. He had a heat in his leg, sorry. And it's been quite fragile, so we really don't want mud fever or anything to get to him. And so he's ready to catch whatever he needs it, because he's the racehorse for here. Um, and okay, then behind us we've got the all-beautiful Perfection's Lust, or Lumberjack. He's very pretty, he's the hunter that um, Tracy or Gemma hunts. And then we've got some tinsel, and then we've got a nice little decoration there, which is like a pine thing that's fallen off a tree that they decided to just put there. And it's perfectly safe for the horses, so. And we've got another little pasture, and a little snowman there. And, um, that is Jack Frost, or Jack. That's Apple Jack. And I just wanted to stick with the Jack thing. He's um, a yearling as well. And he's a very good little boy. He's a colt. And we've got some tinsel along the top. And then here we've got... Ooh, a bit too close. Um, the, all, the She's quite old, so that's why she's all rugged up. She's called Luciferia. Or Lucy. And no, not Lucifer, like the god of all evil kind of thing. Luciferia. I don't... I just came up with it. And I thought it was quite pretty. So. But you call her Lucy for short. And then here's another little star. And some tinsel in the background. And that's probably about it. That's the Christmas Briar Barn Tour 2012 with Horse Soul Love. Um, please leave a comment and please ask questions and leave a video response and anything. If you want, anything you want to know, I'm very willing to tell you. And um, just ask. That's all you need to do and I'll answer. Um, if you have any name suggestions for any of my models, um, please comment. If um, one of your horses happens to have the same name, then I'll send my apologies, but chances are I won't change it for you, unless I've deliberately copied, which I have on none of these horses. And, um, um, keep a watch out for any more videos that I might put on over this holiday. And thank you so much for watching. See you all soon. Bye.